Hey, Tactical Painter here on Out in the Woods Shop. We're here at Suits Crafting. Uh, we're going to be working on some pens today. Uh, what I've got here today is we're going to be doing a gold bolt action for a customer that had a whole bunch of wood that his uh, grandfather or his father gave him. And uh, so we've got this beautiful um, wood here. Focus, not on my face, on the wood. Thank you very much. Sometimes you just got to talk to them and they listen. And uh, put some CA glue on the face here just to see what it was going to look like uh, when we get it all shined and buffed up. Got kind of a nice rich red brown color coming out of it. It's going to be real nice. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I got this block all chucked up, ready to lay it down. Um, this is that uh, mystery wood that we weren't sure what it was. Uh, the customer think, thought it was Coco Bolo. That's what his uh, father or his grandfather told that it was. Um, but looking at it, it looks, seems like a mahogany or a teak. Uh, but either way, it's a beautiful wood. It turns up really nice and easy. It uh, was really hard to cut on the band saw. It's kind of dense, um, but it's got a lot of pores all throughout it so without further ado it's a big block so I'm going to be using my large roughing gouge here and we'll get this turned up So we still got a little ways to go on this edge. This edge is right about the bushing, but I think we'll finish that up with some 150 grit. on polish.
Alright, we'll hit those with denatured alcohol, see how that looks. Looks pretty nice. Alright, time to apply a little sand sealer here, seal up all those pores. Just letting that dry on there. It dries pretty fast. It's already looking pretty nice. Apply another couple of coats just to get all those really deep pores filled in there. Okay, now to apply some Mylan's high friction polish. No, I am not endorsed by them. I just really like this product for wood. Works really well. Get, getting the cloth saturated over here. Just put a little bit of this on. Spin that around. Now we just heat it up a little bit. And that sets that in. Polishes it up. Makes it look really nice. Look at that. Just a beautiful, beautiful sight. And you know it's beautiful when you got to say it twice. Do it again. Get it nice and warm. Heat it up a little bit. Sets it in. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice shine on it there. Okay, let's put on some crystalline wax. Okay, again, I like to use this Renaissance crystalline wax just as a uh, partially as a protective coat, partially because it also polishes that up a little bit too it does kind of tend to not always but sometimes it kind of it dulls it just slightly back from the high grade polish but I find that putting this on keeps that polish for longer than with uh, just the Mylan's uh, friction polish alone so we just wipe that on we let that sit and dry and then we'll buff it off getting these pens wrapped up. We've got uh, about 50 blocks east of here. They're in a, uh, this is the border of the level one evacuation for the fire that we've got burning in the gorge right now. So we're watching that, monitoring it closely. I've got sprinklers going in the yard because we got ash falling all around us. I've got filters out here in the shop in the AC. It's blowing fresh air in. It's uh, kind of an interesting situation right now, but figured I got, got about 45 seconds before we got to buff this off. I'd just let you know what's going on out here currently while I'm filming this video. Of course, by the time you see this, it'll probably be long gone and we'll have the results as to what's going to happen with our world. But here we go, we'll buff this off. Put another couple of coats on there, which I will do off camera so you don't have to sit through me because I usually do about four or five coats of that same process. Wipe it on, let it sit, buff it off. Um, it really builds up a couple of layers of the stuff on there and really makes it uh, a nice finished product that's going to last with that polish on there for a long time. 
All right, it's time to assemble this bolt action kit for this customer. We've got his custom wood that he uh, supplied in order to make this bolt action pin. So without further ado, we'll get it pressed together. We'll start out by putting these two sections here together, just starting, just gonna tap that in a little bit and get it running true. There we go, running true. And then we will grab a piece of paper here Put it, flip this around. Put it in there. What on earth was that? Wow, in all of my years of doing this, I've never seen that happen. The uh, threads just popped inside of the barrel. Well, that's an interesting one, so I'll get that tapped out and we'll grab a new head. Huh, that's kind of fun. Except not. Okay, so here's what I did. I got the end still in there and then the threaded end is just a little jam piece and so when I was doing that focus the jam piece just went all the way in I've never had it do that before so that was definitely a uh, interesting experience so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm just gonna put that back together there just see if I can't push that back in There appears to be a point at which you can go too far. So let's tap it back out here. Tap it. I just have this punch set and these set of jaws. And just put this down inside of there. Just tap on it. Nope, don't do that. It's a very interesting angle on camera, let me tell you. And we will try that one last time. If it doesn't go, then I'll just grab another kit. But let's try that again. I won't press it in as far this time. There. We will just double check that that nib still goes on there correctly. And it certainly does. So I think we can salvage that kit. So you see the nib goes on there, or the tip goes on there correctly, bullet tip, on there just fine. So we will save that tip. Although now, actually, let's do it. with the bullet tip on. How are we going to have this go? Let's say like that.
rotate it some more, and it'll drive that home. There we go. We got good fit on that. Good fit on the end. Our nib still comes off as intended. We're all set. Put our ink in there. Put our spring on. And that pen is done. We got a good clicking action. All set.